Um, curved words, we're going to be hitting that up. There's a question about curved words. Can you type in a circular pattern? That's what we're going to show you here very shortly. <laughs> um, I, actually, I mean, well, one since, of us will. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> since, well, since, since, since this question has popped up, uh, I don't know what's next on my, my slideshow, but uh, let's go ahead and talk about um, how we can put text in a circle. And I want to show people the, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it tedious, the tedious way of doing it in sure, you know, not in sure cuts a lot, but in uh, Cricut design space, uh, just so people can get a feel for the pain and suffering that <laughs> Cricut Explorer users have been experiencing for the over, over two years, maybe, right? right. So, go, so go ahead and show me what, uh, show me what has to be done in order to create that. Okay, Paulette, okay. I'm, I got the camera on you and uh, All right. I'll let you take the show over. So are you seeing my design space screen? Oh, yes, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So I, I actually typed Mary in a different font because I don't have Samantha on the laptop, but this is how it would come in before. So we would have to use letter spacing to scoot all that together. And you can see this one is already off. So that one we would have to manually do. So being able to type the word, see it the way you want it, save it, export it as an SVG and upload it and cut it much easier. Now, if we want to have circular text in design space, most people will say, put the circle on there. And I just did that free insert shapes. We're not going to keep it. Um, once we're done, then I'm going to take my text that I've already typed out and isolate it or ungroup it. Either way, it will make the letters individually, and then you're going to have to bring them down and move them around your circle. One oops, by one. And turn them and tilt them and space them and line them up. And in the time that it took me to move like two or three letters last night, Rob had the whole thing done and sure cuts a lot. <laughs> yeah, so I hope everyone this feels the, the pain to do it now. No, I mean, you, you, <laughs> you're, you're, you're doing that. And uh, I, I assume it's very hard to line the thing up, you know, to make sure that it's all nice and perfect. So, I mean, you can just, just, oh, I, I feel for you guys. I feel, I feel. Yeah. So, you know, then you got to get them all like really looking pretty too. So not just turned. Okay. So show us how we can quickly do it in scale. All right. Uh, let me go ahead and well, pull up my screen here and share it. All right. So hopefully you guys can share my screen. Okay. So, uh, let's talk about the, the circle and doing that. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out which, which one of these tabs it was. Oh, well, we'll go ahead and create a new one from scratch. Okay. So, you know, we are going to use a circle. Uh, we're, we're going to use it as a guide, but shortcuts a lot is going to do all the hard work for us. So, uh, the first thing I always tell people is, you know, draw a circle. And when you draw a circle, um, you know, if you don't hold your shift button down, uh, you get a little weird circle. So I, I'm holding my shift button down so that I get a nice, perfect circle. Uh, the, the next thing that I do, well, I'm going to make it easy for us anyway, is I'm going to change the color to, uh, to something a little more easier for us to see text on. Um, now, the next thing you need to do is just type out your text. So... Um, do the same thing. So in this example, we're not going to move all the letters individually. We are going to do this in one quick down and dirty way. We're going to select everything. We're going to go up to the effects menu, which uh, like I said, I've been stressing this has a lot of great features on it. And we're going to select this one right here, object on path. We click the little auto preview and check that out. That is one simple step. Now, if your question is, Rob, that, that's cool, but uh, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not centered. Is there any way you can rotate that to put it on top? Well, absolutely you can. It's called a start offset. So you see this little clicker? I'm click, click, clicking until I get it to the spot that I need. So that is a way to do this. Now, 
um, something that I had planned for you guys. Um, you know, a lot of you guys are, um, you know, doing these Starbucks little things for your, for your jars. Right. I, I see it all the time. Uh, people posting and they're like, how can I do this? How can I do this? Well, um, like I said, all you need is a circle and then you need the Starbucks logo. Right. So anyways, uh, I'm just going to say, no, we buy the cup that already has the logo on it. Oh, gotcha. Yes, that is true. That is true. Um, so anyways, with this, uh, I want to use this little transparent circle as a guide for my scrappy do coffee. Okay. But uh, first I, I want to get my circle on top of my Starbucks logo. All right. So for this, I'm just going to use uh, some quick alignment tools. Boom, boom. Now they're both centered. Now I can take my scrappy do. I can hold the shift button down and click that little dark circle. I can go up here to the effects menu and click on object on path. I'm going to click auto preview just so I can see where it's going. And now I can use that start offset to get it placed exactly where I want. Now I'm not done with this yet. I still have to put the coffee on, right? So let me click OK and go back to this. So I'm going to cl click on the coffee. I'm going to click on that dark circle again. I'm going to go up to the effects menu. I'm going to hit object on path. And then I'm going to click auto preview. And you're like, Rob, that's great. But if I continue the coffee, it's going to be upside down by the time I get all the way over there. Well, with one click of a button, all you have to do is click this reverse path order. And now my coffee's on the bottom. And now I can do the same thing. Nudge, 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 all the way till I get my coffee where I want. So what you think of that? Paulette didn't see this one last night, so. That's pretty awesome. So yes, I mean, hopefully you guys can see the benefit in the time that you would be saving from moving each individual letter just to get the coffee design you want, you know?